My next guest tonight stars in one of the greatest TV shows of all time, Veep. I wanted to ask you, have you seen how Amy is hovering over Dan? I think they're hooking up. Dan is not dipping his nope. pen in that ink stain. Plus, she's getting kind of fat in the front. Did you see that? It is literally all I can think about. Uh, hey, Gary. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to be president? To give it to you, of course. Oh, that's good. God, I know what I want to say, but I can't find the words. What if you talk and I type? How about that? You just say it yes. out loud, and then I'll just type okay, it. Okay, yeah, that? let's try that. Okay. Great, great, great. Oh, this is fun. Well, from the time I was a girl. From the time I was a pretty girl. No, not pretty girl. No. From the time I was a girl. Oh, but you're so pretty. Please welcome Tony Hale. <laughs> Run. Oh, that dance. Yeah, that yeah, sure. One. Good to see you. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, too. Nice to nice see you. Nice to see everybody. you. Thanks for being here. Oh you know, gosh. look, uh, uh, Sunday. Sunday. Seventh and final season yeah, man. of Veep. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. Yeah, yeah. I but know. also fantastic. I'm just going to try to imagine that this is not the last season when I watch <laughs> so it. Because I. I don't want to weep through the entire thing. And we really like each other. That's the thing. Like, the cast really, really Yeah, jobs. I don't recommend that. Don't like the other people you oh, work with. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Makes it easier oh. to say goodbye. Big rookie mistake. Really? Rookie oh, mistake. God. You don't like, like anybody no. here? No, what? No, oh. we don't talk. Camera's oh, off. My God. No eye contact. Legally, really? no eye contact. Yeah. That is great you need a advice. Agent. You need a agent. Yeah, you do. Thank you for I, that. I, I love you as Gary. I love everything in the show. You don't know. Like, the last time you were here, how, two years ago, something like that? Yeah. I, I, I waxed poetic at you. I opined about how much I love Veep. But now it's gotten even worse. Like, I, maybe I need to be medicated or institutionalized. <laughs> I love because it. Because the worse, the worse our politics have gotten, yeah. somehow the more comforting the horrible yeah. world of Washington you paint seems. Yeah. Yeah. However, I will say, you know, sometimes you're watching the news and, it's, and you want to laugh because it's so crazy. Yes. But then you feel guilty for laughing. You See, we can be an outlet to laugh at, sure. guilt-free. But I also you know? see the humanity of, of, of the characters you're playing. Yes. It's that humanity. Yes. I, I, and, and, and I said yes. this when you and I were both honoring uh, Julia at yes. the Kennedy Center yes. uh, last year, yes. is that it's the ability for the show to bring humanity yes. to these people that makes me feel sorry for these politicians, a feeling I normally don't yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's true. You, you see a little more behind the scenes that they are... Human beings, and they obviously uh, have. There's a lot of ridiculous. Any spoilers? Any spoilers you can tell us? Um, you it and, get, you it and gets, Selena cook up. It get, like we get married. <laughs> you get married. No. There it uh, is. <laughs> there it is, guys. No, we are. Uh, the dysfunction gets worse. It gets worse. We are drunk on dysfunction. That's great. It's bad. Now, you have. Uh, you have next for you. You have. Uh, on Netflix series called Archibald's Next yes! Big Thing. What is that? Oh, I'm excited about this. Um, well, okay. <laughs> well, I really not am. excited about Veep, evidently. Re- now he's really, <laughs> he's really lit up. You know, forget Veep. So, um, <laughs> no, I did this children's book years ago. Okay, well, first of all, let me back up. When I booked Arrested Development years ago, I remember I got, I always wanted a sitcom, and I got a sitcom, and yet I was still on a great show looking to my next thing. Okay. And I was like, whoa, if you're too focused on your next adventure, you're going to miss the adventure you're on. So I did this children's book with my buddies Tony and Victor, and it's about a little chicken named Archibald who's always looking to his next thing and missing where he is. And this bee travels around with him and is like, you got to just be, man. You got to just be. <laughs> so, uh, and then, I, then with my buddies Jake and Drew and Eric, we do this show, we're doing this show for Netflix next year with DreamWorks also. And now Archibald is a very present chicken. Oh. And he, like, yes ands his way through life, and he sees the best in people. And he's super positive, and I just feel like we need a lot more of that in this world today. So, I'm really excited. Uh, now, here's, here's other big news, is that uh, the, the Toy Story 4 is coming out. Yeah! It's coming out this, this yeah. summer. Yeah! And you played the new toy. <laughs> you played the new toy right here. You voiced new toy Forky. Forky! Right down here. <laughs> perfect. Right! It's perfect. Isn't it cool? It's the first toy that the little girl made, and um, he's having a bit of an existential crisis, the yes. spork. Because they call him Forky, but he's a spork. That's a part of the existential crisis. Yes. And he also doesn't really want to be a toy. He always kind of wants to go to the trash. 
Um, and he learns that he, I know. Wow. I know. Wow. But he, uh, you know, it's just he learns there's a lot of value and, and he's very, he's loved. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Long I'll bring live some, Forky. I'll bring some Kleenex. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, Tony, it's always so great to see you. Thank so you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Season seven of Veep premieres this Sunday on HBO. Tony Hale. We'll be right back.